is live action retelling. Now we're talking about Disney movies. Oh. And our rating. Nice and just like, yeah. We're <laughs> nice. terrible people. We have variety on this show. <laughs> All right. Disney's live action retelling of its animation classic Beauty and the Beast is due in theaters in less than a month. And it's already shaping up to be a box office juggernaut. Box office tracking reports have it on track to open at $120 million, while Disney insiders are staying on the conservative side with their expectations, placing it closer to just over $100 million. Mark, buy or sell Beauty and the Beast opening at $120 million or above based on its current tracking. Natasha, why are you going to throw the tracking in my face like that? <laughs> tracking means nothing in modern society. What did you do? Did, were you like Family Feud? We went to a mall and we asked 100 people, hey, who's going to see Beauty and the Beast opening weekend? And this is what you... I don't care. You know why? Because recent history has proven that box office tracking means absolutely nothing. Jurassic World was tracking around the same. Fast and Furious wasn't even tracking $100 million. And look at what that opening was a couple of years ago. This means nothing to me. It's going to make $200 million opening weekend. Two. Buy it, print it, stamp it, whatever. $200 million. Perry, Perry, are you going to go with Ellis? crazy. <laughs> with, with this $200 when million I, dollar I, prediction? Tracking has been when very, saw, very wonky. When I saw this headline, the first thing I thought is about your $200 million bet, which is not going to happen ever. Fake ever, news. ever, ever. <laughs> oh, there we go. Not going to happen ever. Um, <laughs> I do think that it has a good chance of hitting the, the higher number that they were talking about because the, the article says it's tracking 120. Disney is playing it a little conservative. Actually, to your point, Alice, because tracking has been unreliable been as useless. of late. And, you know, I never look at the tracking and make my box office predictions based on tracking. I look at, you know, you know past movies and try to figure it out that way 200 million is within oof. reason oof it no Not no reason. oh it's no, no it's completely i mean civil war you know, didn't even do uh 200 million you can again. use a case like a jurassic world where nobody thought it would make that much at the box office but it pops and it becomes this historical thing but that's that's a dime a dozen mm. looking at jungle book jungle book opened with 103 million opening weekend the big difference between The Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast is how little competition. It only opened against Barbershop. The one week before, it was The Boss. Mm. The, uh, the, one, the week before that, I think, was kind of like a, a non-entity in terms of it taking money from The Jungle Book at the box office. Mm. I, it's, it's a different situation because this March we have a major, major hot property dropping every single mm -hmm. week. And the spillover that's going to happen from either a movie like Logan, which is coming out at the beginning of the month. So it'll be in week three. And then I think the one, what is the one after that? Is well, it Kong? It's Kong is, after that. Kong is mm -hmm. going to affect it too. Yeah. So even though there's not all that much crossover at the, at the box office with those types of movies, we're talking about movies that are taking such a big chunk of the box office pie that... I don't think we're going to ever see a day where the Beauty and the Beast movie comes anywhere close to 200 million, but I will say I am starting to bet on it taking 120 million, and I think that is actually an insanely impressive yet realistic number. Roka. Okay, my thing is here's the thing. <laughs> you like eyeing uh, me the entire time. Perry is absolutely right. <laughs> Every Friday, there's a huge. I mean, I wanted February to like, I wanted to be put in a coma for 30, 28 days so I could come out of February and go right into March and watch these films that are coming out. Because every Friday, there's these awesome films coming. Life's coming out, uh, Ghost in the Shell's coming out, Kong, this. And, and so Beauty and the Beast, they released that clip of her singing, and it has split the internet. So for me, the idea that it's going to get 200 million is ludicrously insane because people <laughs> are not 100% on board with Emma and her singing and some of the acting in that clip that they showed. And that's what you're hearing. That's what you're reading online. People feed feedbacks and stuff. Feedbacks, their feedback, rather. And so to me, I'm going to go closer to the 100 million, maybe the 120 if the reviews are off the charts and people are like wanting to bring their families and all this kind of jazz. But I think it's I think people are a little because people love this prop, love Beauty and the Beast. It's like it's like a diamond. And so if you mess it up or scratch it in any way, people are going to run screaming from but it. You got to know go. if they did it well or not. That's right, but why you'll you see, see that in the reviews. Weekend. You'll read that in the reviews and you'll read that in people's reaction to word of mouth. And so to me, word, word of mouth would get it 200 million. But if the word of mouth is not is like uneven, then it's not going to get to 200 million or anywhere close. Well, I'm going to buy that it's going to make a hundred around 100. I'm not going yeah. 200 million. I think it's yeah. going to do very well. Personally, I've seen the trailers and it it just hasn't really excited me for there it we, so that's, far. That's my point. That's my but point. But yeah. I've been heard heard from people who have seen rough cuts of it yeah. that, that it's actually really, really good. So oh, I'm good. still looking forward to it. I think this is one of those movies that if it is good or is as good as we hope it to be, it's going to open 
hundred, whatever. But it's going to be one of those ones that just keeps going and going. You but, know, that's just going to stay at the box office yeah. and, and keep going. Well, there have been complaints, Dennis, about like the the design of the beast, right? And there now there's there are these articles coming out about whether it's a thing about Stockholm syndrome and whether he's like keeping her prisoner and why isn't she reading the book? So there's a that's what I mean. People love this property. It it can rival DC in the kind of love that people have for this property mm -hmm. in the Disney world, and so that's why it's getting way more scrutiny than almost anything that's come out live action for that Disney has tried since. And this is the first one that people are really pushing back against. Um, and people didn't go see Pete's Dragon, but people didn't revere it like they do Beauty and the Beast. But this, they're, they're, they're going over this like a fine-tooth comb, and they're finding anything they don't like about it and going online and screaming about it. And that that's, gets that's it in the papers. That's office. all we care about. Look, I feel like I can open up to you guys. I feel like I can be honest <laughs> with you guys. Okay? Here's, here's what makes me nervous. Here's what keeps me up in bed at night. It's not Kong Skull Island or Logan or whether people want to see Emma Watson sing these songs. It's the March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, boy. It's going to be a lot of drunk people. <laughs> oh, boy. And if you're hammered at a parade, are you going to remember to stumble into the Beauty and the Beast Theater? I, I tend to have faith. I don't think the demo for this movie is, is exactly that. I, th exactly my point, Dennis. I don't, I I think don't see if, Beauty and the Beast posters at, at the local bar. If That's why they should do a sing-along. They should out. do the sing-along screenings oh, that weekend. I think that Pete, I think that hammered people are going to want to stumble into, oh, it's a good look at the Beast. Let's go hang out with Gaston. I think the more you drink, the more you're going to want to go see Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> 210 million is Listen within here. Okay. <laughs> Listen here, O'Malley. Let's go into the theater and go to Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Let's go into the theater and go to Beauty and the Beast. I would like There's to no way ask that's uh, Natasha no way that's and Wendy, who actually uh, shot a Beauty and the Beast commentary oh, for us that we will be releasing did. very, very soon. Yeah. What do you guys think about the opening box office numbers? Um. So... Okay. <laughs> get in there, girl. Stretch it I got to get it out. Okay. I've been a Beauty and the Beast live action supporter since the first trailer. I was not on the hater table. I liked everything. <laughs> Haters corner. But. Boom. There it is. Oh, boy. I do not like Emma Watson singing in it, oh. and it ruined it for no. me. Oh, what did I say? No. Ruined it. You guys, no. the fact that me, like happening. Disney princess <laughs> at heart, lost interest in it is not a good thing. So no. I think just because I'm an Uber fan, and so I'm still going to see it, obviously, which is why it's going to you know, make, it probably will make the 120 mil, but I would stay more on the conservative side just because, like Roka said, it is so split. I mean, if you have huge Disney fans like me kind of doubting beauty and the beast that's not a good sign you just Winnie? broke my i know i think i broke oh, my own heart i'm oh gonna go cry about it now um her clip the clip of emma singing the first song which is bell um sold me even more because wow. i wasn't sure if she could sing mm -hmm. and it's it's got a little bit more of a modern take i don't expect her to sing like pedro hara i don't think anybody can have you know the, the and then that's a classic in its own but I am really very much looking forward to the movie, and I myself have contributed to the weekend box office because I've already spent money buying the advance tickets. Thank to you for your support, it. Wendy. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying like to get, get you to that Mark $200 million. <laughs> um, But I am, jury's still out for me on like what Lumiere and Cogsworth look like in their object forms. I am still not liking it. Her dress is pretty, but I don't feel like it's like it's too modern for the period. But yeah. aside from that, like I'm still really excited to see everything else. So I'm still excited and I don't see it being bad, mm -hmm. but I think just all of the split buzz about it yeah. is yeah. definitely going to contribute to whether or not the numbers are going to be right said now, for curiosity. Yes. Well, I hope it's better than those million, motion posters they released uh, the, 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 that other week. And you, go, you only get to 200 million if you have repeat viewing. And if you have people like Natasha who is hesitant, so sees it once, is not 100% satisfied. She's not going to go back more than once or two, more than once. And so that's that's going to affect box office. We're getting your money, Natasha. Look at La La Land. Okay, <laughs> La La Land is a movie that has a lot of singing in it, not by professional singers, oh. it's by actors who are trying their best. And people love watching. It. People love it when you give an A effort, even if you're not the most talented person. Same thing with Emma Watson in that yellow dress. She's a Disney princess, but she's also relatable to the average human being because she's locked up in a castle with a beast. We ran off the rails for this a little bit. <laughs> $220 million is within sight. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. 